All right, I know this is really late, but these are the books that I read in July, even though we are in the middle of August. I just never made it to this video. I read The Invention of Hugo Cabaret by Brian Selznick. And it looks like this. And that. So this is the one that looked like this. It had the pictures all throughout it and then maybe if I, can, if I can find some words I'll show them to you. It did have a story in it and this was made into a movie and I had actually got it from the library. I was going to watch it and I never did and I took it back. Um, I guess sometime I will eventually watch the movie. I can't say that this was like the absolute most wonderful book in the world. I just think it was a neat concept because there are, I don't even know how many pages. There's like 284 pages of drawings alone. Um, just trying to see how many pages were actually in here. I don't know how many pages are actually in here because they're not numbered after they show some of these, but some of these are like actual photographs. I don't know if they're from, it's like about films and stuff. So I don't know if these are actual films or pictures from like films from way back when. And I mean way back when. We're talking like silent films, I do believe. Like this has mermaids and fish. And I don't know if you can see them. But that, to me, that looks like a photograph. Like those old timey photographs. So I do believe that's what these are from. So there was another one. Well, obviously the horse is fake, but the person looks real. So I don't know. I can't even remember what I gave this because... My life has been crazy and I don't remember anything now. So I'm thinking I gave it like a three out of five stars. I'm thinking because I liked the concept of it, but it wasn't like the greatest story in the world. Um, you know, it's, it's about an orphan boy pretty much is what it is and how he survives and it all ends, you know, on a happy note. I just didn't think it was like great. Now, I really need to do a video on this because somebody asked me to, and I don't know whether I'm going to or not. This is Libba Bray, and it's Beauty Queens. And, um, I can't say that this was the most wonderful book in the world. I think I was expecting more out of it than what I got. And I can't remember. It was either a three or a four out of five stars. Um, it was supposed to be like a comedy. But, you know, in the beginning, there's people who die. And, and, like, we're pretty much supposed to just write them off. I felt like there just was no emotion whatsoever towards people who died tragically. And, like, that bothered me. I don't know. It just bothered me. But, you know, there was some funniness to it. Um, some totally ridiculous stuff. Pretty much, I don't know. It was, like, this whole network pretty much controlled everything. Like, there were so, they put out products. And they just, it was, like, almost like a government network type thing throughout the whole thing that just was like ruling everything. I know I'm like making no sense and I'm saying like a lot. I'm sorry. I'm really tired because <laughs> I got off work this morning and I haven't been to sleep. So I don't know. Like it was an okay book. I don't think it was great. Um, I would have preferred it if I would have gotten it from the library rather than buying it. So yeah. Now a book that I really did like was Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. It seems so long ago that I read this. 
It really does. Um, and it's got these type of pages, and it does have the flap, even though it's paperback. This was a good book. I picked this book up because everybody was raving about it, and I kept thinking, oh, it's probably just a little cutesy book. It's probably not going to be that great. And although it is a little cutesy book, it actually was a really good little cutesy book. <laughs> I really, really liked it. I don't know why. It's just one of those stories where, like, you you start reading the book and you have to hurry up and finish it all. You can't stand not to just go ahead and read it. Um, I don't know. There's something about it. I don't know if it's her writing or if it was the story itself. It pulled me in and I couldn't help but get into it. I thought it was really good. Just a nice um, romance teenage romance book. I really liked it. I was impressed. Um, I do want to read um, Lola and the Boy Next Door, I think is what it's called. I want to read it just to see if if it was the story or if it's this girl's writing. Just to see. And then I read Messy by Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan. And this is a companion book to Spoiled. Um... I didn't think Spoiled was like the greatest book in the world either. Uh, but I wanted to read this one just because I had read Spoiled. This one is not the greatest book in the world either. <laughs> but it, I think that I liked it better than I liked Spoiled. So, um, once again, I wish I hadn't purchased it. I wish I would have just like got it from the library or something. But that's okay. Um, I did like, however, that it's like bright pink. I love that. So, I don't even know how to explain this. Popular girl, daughter of a movie star, hires a ghostwriter for her blog. That type of thing. Bunches of drama bunches and bunches of drama but it was okay it was an okay book and really that's all I read I really did not read much in the month of July it's probably gonna be the same thing for August I'm probably not gonna have too much to show you just because I don't know it's just I feel like there's so much going on right now I'm not reading like I should be so that's it and I guess I'll see you guys later bye